What's up, everybody? It is officially 2021, and if you haven't seen it already, Sweetwater and I worked together to create the biggest drum set I have ever built. This is the Mega Kit 2.021, born out of a desire to create some crazy content to inspire you guys to have some fun this year because 2020 was rough for musicians, and I really want 2021 to be way better. Hopefully this kit, that video inspired you to make some music, to pick up some new gear, to do something crazy in your musical endeavors this year. And now I'm gonna show you the behind the scenes tour. Uh, I really, I made a fool of myself in that video because uh, I really, I shouldn't be playing on a kit this big. I'm just not, I'm just not at that level yet. I need to be named Mike so I could be Mike Mangini or Mike Portnoy or somebody to really play a kit like this. This is basically modeled exactly after a Mike Mangini drum set. And uh, this was insane, but hey, that's what it's all about. It's about having fun. It's not about, you know, are you perfect? No musician is perfect. It's not about who's the best because that's, it doesn't even matter. You play because you love it. And that's what I did with this drum set. So let's take a behind the scenes tour. I'll show you the sizes, the symbols, all the stuff and uh, help you see what the Mega Kid is made out of, and maybe there's something there you want to go pick up for your drum set, or an idea moving a, a cymbal around or a drum around or something, because it's certainly uh, very uh, mind-boggling to try something different, and uh, this this drum set is that. So let's get to the tour. All right, so a few quick stats about this kit before I show you the in-depth tour. This kit used 22 drums. 16 cymbals, 28 Earthworks microphones, uh, four different Focusrite units for preamps and the interfaces and everything. Uh, we had uh, three different Icon rack setups to build the rack here. And uh, I mean, it. This, this thing is massive. This is the most crazy drum set I've ever built. Now I know there's definitely crazier ones out there, but for someone like me who, you know, I feel at home on a four or five piece or a seven piece, uh, to have a, a 22 piece, uh, that's pretty insane. <laughs> so this whole kit is actually built off of the Pearl Session Studio Select Series, which is birch and mahogany shells, professional grade hardware. It's a professional kit at a really, really affordable price, especially in the US when you buy a kit, you get a free floor tom with it. So you get like a 10, 12, 14, 16, 22, or a 10, 12, 14, 16, 20, or you can get a 24, 13, 16, 18. They're, they're super awesome drum sets and they are by far my favorite bang for the buck kit. I think if you want a professional grade kit for an actual affordable price, this is the one you go with. Uh, but the cool thing about this is it's completely symmetrical. And so I've got an eight inch Session Studio Select uh, drum here in the middle, and then it's 10 inch and 10 inch, 12 inch and 12 inch, 13 inch and 13 inch, 14 inch and 14 inch, and then 16 inch and 16 inch floor toms here on the backside. And so you can go either way. You can go down with your fill or you can go up with your fill or uh, you can go kind of both. I mean, at one point I tried to do the Phil Collins fill, and uh, it turns out having 16th way back here is a lot more difficult uh, than I thought it would be. And so that right there is one of the coolest parts of the kit, in my opinion. It's very Mike Mangini-esque. He's got uh, kind of like the symmetrical thing going on, and I mean, you know, he plays it way better than I do, but uh, he has a little bit more practice too. Um, and then past that, I actually have the rocket toms up here for the first time. I've wanted rocket toms forever. We got together and we made rocket toms happen for this kit because rocket toms are just such a unique texture and tone. And when I went back, uh, I did a video called, uh, it's going to be called like greatest hits drum cover, but it hasn't come out yet. Uh, but I'm basically recovering portions of some of my biggest drum covers ever on this kit. And I kept finding myself wanting to add the rocket toms in to a lot of the different songs. And so they're, they're actually quite tonally interesting. Um, They've got that really like high-pitched 
um, kind of almost, you know, a little bit of like a, a timbale mixed with like a little bit longer of a sound. Uh, I mean, they're, they're really, really interesting drums and you can do a lot of cool things with them. Uh, and so we've got the, they're all six inch uh, drums. And so you've got a six by 12, a six by 15, a six by 18, and a six by 21. And they're sold in sets of two a lot of times. And so you can get like a six by 12 and six by 15, or you can get a six by 18, six by 21. Um, and it's a really, really great way to add some voices to your kit. So for the actual depths of the main drums here, we've got an eight by seven, then we've got a 10 by seven, then we've got a 12 by eight, then we've got a 13 by nine, then we've got a 14 by 14, and a 16 by 16. Uh, I have three of the Session Studio Select snare drum sizes, which is all three of the ones they offer. Right here in the middle is the middle child, the 14 by six and a half. On the right hand side over here, your left, is the 14 by five and a half. And then on the back side over here, this is the 14 by eight. And so uh, when you get a Session Studio Select kit, you can get uh, a matching snare drum for it. And for the price point to get the super hoops, to get that high quality hardware and a great birch mahogany shell, it's really, really a great, um, it's a great price point for a snare drum of that quality. And so um, I love these drums. If I were only getting one of them, I think I would probably settle in for the 14 by six and a half, uh, just because it's kind of like the best of both worlds. But all three of them are excellent snares. It's really cool to show up with that 14 by eight, especially if you have like a, a big rock sound or you got that modern uh, worship uh, sound that you wanna go for. That 14 by eight can get so deep. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just, it's really cool. I also wanted to throw in uh, my igniter snare. Mike Mangini's kit has a snare drum right there in the center. Uh, I wanted the little dual splash cymbals. I thought that was fun. So I ended up hanging mine from the top of the rack here. And this is my 14 by five inch uh, igniter snare. And so this has an all maple interior. It comes with some great hardware on it. Um, and I put an Evans coated hybrid head, which is like a cross between a marching snare head and a drum set head on it. And it sounds really, really cool. The rack system here is Pearl's Icon Rack Series. And so uh, this is, in my opinion, the best rack on the market. It is the strongest because of the square shape. When you set something where you want it, it doesn't move. The thing that I think is most important about a rack is that it holds your stuff where you want it. That's what I love about Pearl's. It's classy looking, uh, but it holds everything exactly where it's supposed to go. And this whole front here, which is holding two cymbals, four rocket, rocket toms and my snare drum is actually supported by the back part of the rack. It's not mounted here in the front at all. It just comes off of these two pipes here and all of that is almost like free hanging, which uh, I mean, that just shows you how strong and sturdy it is. And so I've got uh, the, all the curved pieces. You can get it in straight or curved. And so all of these are curved and then there's these little joining pipes here in the middle that hold the two curved sides together. And uh, another cool thing about it is the snare drum here, I don't have on a snare stand, a typical style snare stand. I actually have it on a pipe coming off of the Icon rack with just the top of the snare stand going into it. And what that does, if you can see from the overhead angle here, is there's no snare stand near my feet. So it clears up room, I can move my kick drums in a little bit, and I don't have to worry about my feet being hit by the snare drum. I'm able to have that space down here and have a little less clutter, which is really awesome in my opinion. Now, as far as the cymbals go, there are a lot of them. Uh, I'm gonna start on the back ride over here. I have a 21 inch Sweet Ride as my main ride. Uh, love the K Sweet series. This is, I mean, it is, uh, it's just such a great sounding, really multifunctional line that's just beautiful all together. I mean, the, especially when you buy them as a set, which they now have the set, which has a 21 inch K-Suite ride, has a uh, 19 inch uh, crash and a 17 inch K-Suite crash, and then it has 15 inch K-Suite hats. That is just such a great set of symbols for so many different uh, uses. Then right above that, the new Concept Shop Turbine Stacker. This is the 17 on top of the 19. Looks like lightning bolts. It's absolutely crazy. 
uh, but it, it also sounds really cool too. Cutting jumps right through the mix, so what you're playing you're gonna hear. And then up here, I have the 20 inch K cluster crash. So this is a special symbol that has uh, patterns of hammers just done uh, through a few places on the symbol. It gives it a little bit of a trashier sound and uh, it's a great uh, compatible uh, symbol with the K Suite series because it's made very similarly. It just has those little cluster hits. And so I like to use that as my little bit of a trashier crash on the back side of my K Suite setup. Then, We've got the 17 inch K-Suite crash right here. Got 14 inch K-Suite hats on the aux hat here. And so this is actually um, set up on an aux hat. So I control it from over here to that side of the kit. And the reason I'm doing that is because of the tom setup, I don't have a traditional place for the hi-hat stand. I have to use that and it has a cable and you can kind of put it wherever you want. A lot of times I use that as my second hi-hat, but in this case, it's my main hi-hat. I like it on the right-hand side of the kit because it opens up my left hand to just go wherever it wants to go while I still play hi-hat on this side. Um, I do have a, an auxiliary hat on the other side of the kit this time. Uh, this is the closed hat, um, and this is Pearl's just closed hat arm. You can, you can adjust it to be a little bit open or whatever you want, but these are the Concept Shop. Uh, this is the Concept Shop rib hammered 14 inch hi-hat top, and that I put on top of the K-Custom hybrid um, 14 and a quarter inch hat top, and so got a nice closed hat vibe from that going on. Now coming back to this side of the kit, Got the little Zill Bell. I love the Zill Bell. It's just so nice to choo 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 cha ding. It's like super metal, or you know, uh, if you really want a cutting bell sound, like if you're trying to play a ding 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 ding, like a part like that, this can really go a long way for that. It cuts through really well and it's easy to hit. You can also tighten it down a little bit if you want a little bit less resonance. Then we've got a 10 inch A Custom Splash next to a 10 inch K Custom Special Dry Splash. So I've got a little bit of a bright sound next to a, a very dark dry sound and so I can get those two different uh, sounds right there. I have that on these little short pearl uh, boom arms which are really, really great for adding small accessories. Same thing here. Then I've got the 14 inch Oriental Trash China here with the 14 inch Spiral Stacker on top and so this it looks super cool, the thing like jumps off of it when you play it, and it has a nice trashy sound. It's one of my favorite effects setups that I use all, a lot of times. There's that rib hammered hi-hat top of the K-Custom, uh, 14 and a quarter inch uh, underneath there. Then this up here is the 18 inch K-Suite Crash. Up here we've got the uh, 18 inch Oriental Trash China. I forgot over here I've got an 18 inch K Custom Special Dry China, which I think if I was getting one China, this might be the China that I buy because it's just, I, I love it. It's such a like cutting China, but it's also quick and gets out of your way. It doesn't ring for too long. Oriental Trash China, I like the 18 inch size. I think my favorite size in that series is probably an 18 or a 16 inch. And then down here, we've got the uh, Zildjian uh, FX stack. This is the one of the bigger versions here. This is a 16 inch version. And so they have those in different sizes. Uh, I really like the big ones and I like the small ones. You can stack it as a hi-hat or you can flip it and make it more of a normal style stacker like this over here. Then over on this back side here, we've got the 19 inch K-Suite Crash. This is, uh, it fills out the K-Suite range. I've got the 17, 18, and the 19. And uh, so it gives me, you know, the high to low pitches there. And down on the bottom, we've got my kind of auxiliary left-hand ride. This is the 21 inch A-Suite Ride in brilliant finish. And so this, uh, this symbol, I didn't, <laughs> I don't think I hit very much when I was playing it because I'm not used to having a left side ride and this one's a little bit further back than I really desire a left hand ride. I'd rather it be kind of right here. So I didn't use that one very much uh, during the, the actual video, but it was fun uh, 
you know, experimenting with it a little bit and certainly looks nice when you get the overhead angle and have the, the symmetry of the setup as a whole because that was one of the things I was really going for. As far as pedals go, I've got the Redline Eliminator from Pearl. I've got two single Redline Eliminator uh, kick pedals on the two 24 inch kick drums. So the main kicks here are 24 by 14, 24 by 14. That Session Studio Select series, and man, these things, boom! It is crazy how much power they have. And then, over on the right-hand side, on this double kick pedal, I'm using the, the left pedal or the slave pedal, whatever you want to call it, of the double kick to fire the back right-hand side 20-inch kick drum. So you're able to play that kick drum with a kick pedal right here next to your main kick pedal. So if you want to switch to a little bit of a different kick sound, you can use that double kick setup to trigger that second bass drum and get you a different tone. Now, if you look from the outside, you'll see that there is another kick drum over here. And technically, best case scenario, I would have had a left side uh, double bass pedal to fire that one as well, but I didn't have one and I won't use one very often, so I didn't feel like that was necessary for this shoot. But I did want to have that 22 inch kick drum there for the look of the kit. You know, you can call it a dummy kick. A lot of people use two kick drums and use just a double pedal on one because it's easier to tune one kick. And then you get the look um, of the two kicks. But uh, I believe Mike Mangini is one of the guys that preaches that having two actual kick drums is better for your feel and better for your playing. And so um, I definitely felt uh, really, really uh, connected to each of the drums by having two identical kick pedals, identical uh, kick drums that all set up the same way. It felt very natural to have those two kicks. No Mega Kit drum set is complete without a bunch of awesome drum heads. And this is no different. Uh, for this video, I'm using all Evans drum heads. Up top here, we've got the Evans Coated Hybrid on my igniter snare, which I'm super pumped about. This is a cross between a marching snare head and a drum set head, and it, it lasts forever is, is what I'm finding out. I haven't been able to break one yet, and it's got such a crazy awesome attack, so much loudness and just cutting uh, sound from that. And then up here on my rocket toms, I've got Evans EC2s. These are six inches. And then all along the toms here, I also have the Evans EC2s, and I have the black Evans resonant heads on the bottom. So when you look from above, kind of looks like little black holes on each drum, which I think is really, really cool. Uh, on the kicks over here, I've got the EMAD 2 on my two 24 inch kicks and my 22 inch kick. And then I've got the EMAD uh, coated over here, uh, actually the UV EMAD on the uh, right 20 inch kick drum. And on the snare drums, I've got the Evans Heavyweight on the 14 by eight and the 14 by five. And then I've got the HD Dry, which is my favorite snare head on the main 14 by six and a half snare here. So, so many awesome Evans drum heads. This kit is fully decked out and it sounds really, really great. The EC2 heads are cool because They've got these rings in them that help uh, with a little bit of the overtones. So they're, they're a head that if you're a newer drummer, not super great at tuning yet, this is a good head to try out. And I also have these little Evans uh, dampeners that can stick to the drums and you can change the level of dampening that you get on them to help with some of those overtones as well. So that is the head setup for this kit. Absolutely insanity. There's so many drum heads here. It took me like three hours to change all the heads But it was well worth it because this thing sounds and looks so good. So so past that uh, Miking this thing was absolutely the craziest part of it because you know, you got this big of a kit in this room um, It takes a lot of mics and so each one of the drums here has a DM20 on it. That's from Earthworks It's their kind of like Tom snare drum microphone um, I use the DM20s for a lot of things, but definitely drums is the main focus uh, for them. And so that's, uh, you know, right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, I think that's all the DM20s that we use. I think we use 14 DM20s on this kit. And then uh, on the overheads, I've got the SR25s. I just did a single pair because we were, we were running out of space. On a kit like this, you could go in and you could mic like individual hi-hats and rides and stuff, but man, that is insanity on a kit this big. Uh, and then the kick drums have the SR20LS, which is the kick drum 
uh, mic from uh, Earthworks. It's kind of like the low end mic, so you could use it on a bass guitar, you could use it on something else. But all of them are condenser based microphones, and so they're small diaphragm condensers. And what this allows Earthworks to do is provide extreme clarity, but also the clarity goes even further because how quickly the condenser module actually fires and then is ready for the next note. And what that means is if you hit a note, it picks up the signal and then it's so quickly ready for the next note. And so the low end of the first note doesn't roll over and cover up the high end or attack of the next note. And that provides that extreme clarity and it's one of the reasons that I love Earthworks microphones on drums so much. Uh, and then I've got the SR25s in the Rocket Toms back here with this crazy hanging from the ceiling setup, which is really cool because I Pearl hardware is just useful for so many things and having pipes all over my ceiling, I can hang stuff wherever I want. So I built out of some Pearl hardware this crazy thing to mount all of the uh, microphones for those Rocket Toms. And uh, then actually on my snare drum up here, we're using an SR40V, which is uh, more of a vocal live microphone. But when you have this many drums to mic, we, uh, we ended up needing to jump over to the SR40V for that snare drum up there. And uh, I think that covers it. I think that's all the mics used uh, Focusrite Red 8 and uh, Claret uh, 8 Pre-X and Claret Octo Pre Pre's for this. And so the Claret series from Focusrite is really, really a great line of uh, high-end preamps for a nice affordable price. It's kind of like the Session Studio Select of preamps. Um, I love the Claret series. I also have the Red 8 for the Dante connectivity and those super nice Red 8 preamps and being able to just control everything. You can have up to like 64 inputs on one of those Red 8 pre's and so um, it's really, really great to be able to tie in a huge session like this. It took 30 preamps and we still had some available uh, because of how big this setup is. And so that was really, really great. And uh, altogether it was, it was quite a fun challenge and a fun opportunity to create uh, <laughs> such a crazy video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for tuning in and checking it out. I'm gonna play it a little bit more for you guys, give you some sound samples of everything. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have some fun playing drums. Go check out the link in the top of the description to go get some of this gear from Sweetwater. Uh, they have great deals on everything. Their customer service is second to none. I mean, I don't recommend buying from anywhere else. They're, they're really like, if you, Live in a place where you can order from Sweetwater, you should order from Sweetwater because they will take care of you and they will help you with any questions that you want. You get your own personal sales engineer. And it's the reason that like things like this, like Sweetwater believes in doing really crazy things to help people like get excited about music because in this world, a lot of people, you know, a lot of kids, they end up playing video games instead of playing music. And so we want to do stuff like this to inspire people to play music. And Sweetwater believes in that. And they believe in videos like this and they believe in um, the online world of, of learning and, and seeing and, and just, it's, it's really, really cool how much Sweetwater believes in musicians and wanting to help them and create a cool buying experience for them. So check it out. Click the link in the top of the description. Go get you some gear and make 2021 a year that is awesome for music. Thanks for watching.